Hey y'all, good morning. How y'all doing this Sunday morning? Welcome to Season with Love. I'm Casey. This is my kitchen. You guys, I'm making pot roast this morning, y'all. I'm going to show y'all how I do my roast beef. You know, I don't do it. Mississippi style where it's all shredded up and chopped up and, and shredded into the sauce and how they do I don't do it like that. I'm going to show y'all my way of how I do it. Still going to be butter, soft, tender, and delicious. Okay? Y'all stay tuned on Season with Love, y'all. We making pot roast. All right, y'all. I know y'all seen it. Let's go over these list of ingredients. We got some in the bowl right here, y'all. To your left, I have potatoes, carrots, and celery. Okay? I have it in a bowl with a little bit of water so my potatoes won't oxidize and turn brown on me. I got an onion right here. I got some Lipton onion soup mix. Of course, y'all know, we got to have that roast. That roast is a chuck roast. Chuck roast make the best roast. Now, this one don't have a lot of marbling like I like, but y'all know I do my shopping online, so I wasn't able to pick out my own roast. Walmart picked this roast out for me. It's what they had for me. I got a little all-purpose seasoning, some garlic powder, and some browning sauce. That's going to help me with my gravy, y'all. Beef pot roast. I'm going to season with love, y'all. All right, guys. Y'all see I got my roast in the pot right here. I don't sear off my roast. I boil it. So that's why I got it in the pot. I'm about to cover it with some water, put it on the stove to boil for about an hour. Y'all stay tuned on Season with Love. We're making pot roast for Sunday dinner, y'all. All right, guys. I got my roast in the pot. It's clean. I added one tablespoon full of all-purpose seasoning and one teaspoon full of garlic powder. That's it. Because we're going to season with the onion, the Lipton soup mix. You don't want to put too much salt in there. You know, make it too salty. And this is about a three-pound roast. Yeah, almost three pounds that we're working with. So, we're going to boil this off for about an hour. Y'all stay tuned. I'm going to show y'all what we're going to do after that. All right, guys. I have boiled my roast for about an hour. Is that my desired tenderness that I want it to be boiled? Because I'm going to roast this as well. Now, I'm going to tell y'all what I'm going to do next. I'm going to add uh, my Lipton Onion Soup Mix packets. I'm going to add two of those. Because this is what's going to make that delicious gravy. Okay. And now I'm going to add that beef broth. We have, from boiling that roast, we have created a delicious beef broth. So I'm going to add that right in here too. Okay. This is what we're going to roast it in. This delicious beef broth mixed with that onion soup mix. Okay. Get a good amount in there. Now we're not going to add our vegetables at this point. Because our, our potatoes, carrots, and celery are going to go in. When we, we're going to roast this for about 30 minutes. Then we're going to pull it out and slice it, guys. We're going to slice it in thin slices. And... Add a, a flour and slurry to our gravy. That's when we're going to add our, our vegetables and add our sliced beef back in and return that back to the oven. Y'all stay tuned for, for when I'm going to do that, okay? I'm going to get this in the oven for about 30 minutes, and I'm going to meet y'all back here. Y'all stay tuned. Season of love. We're making pot roast Sunday dinner, y'all. All right, guys. We back. We have took our roast out of the oven. This is our roast au jus. That came from the roast. We got a couple of sliced onions in there. Okay. Now I've, I've commenced to slicing my roast. Okay. Now I saved this little piece so I can show y'all how y'all gonna slice this roast. If y'all look closely, if y'all look closely, you can see there's lines, which we call the grain of the meat. Okay. Usually on a chuck roast, the grain tends to go in different directions. See how this one is going this way. That side is going that way. You're going to cut against the grain, no matter which direction it is in. So the, since this grain is growing this way from left to right, I want to cut this way. Okay. So I'm going to continue to cut thin slices and get this back in the, in the, um, and show y'all what I'm going to do next. Alright guys, this is our au jus. Remember it's seasoned with the onion soup mix. 
We put some sliced onions in there. Y'all can see the bits of onion from the onion soup mix. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to whisk in a flour slurry. You can use a cornstarch slurry, flour slurry, whatever you prefer. I'm going to whisk this in. It's about two tablespoons of flour to one third cup of water. Okay, I'm going to get that whisk in there. To that, I'm going to add just a cap full of some browning. So I can have a nice dark color to my gravy. Nice brown color. Not too much because this will make your gravy black, okay? So not too much. Just enough so you can have that beefy look, okay? Okay. And this is going to thicken up in the oven. Now we're going to add the rest of those fresh veggies that we cut. Our carrots and celery and potatoes. We're going to get those in there. Okay. Get all those in there. Out of that soaking liquid. Now once we get those in there, you know, whatever you don't eat, leave it out. If you just want potatoes, just do potatoes. Okay. Now we're going to get our beef back in here. Okay. Now our beef is going to brown and continue to get tender as it cooks with these vegetables down in the oven. Okay. Now I'm going to put this in the oven. I'm going to leave this uncovered because I want some browning to happen, guys. Okay. Because we didn't sear this off in the beginning. And get it's the reason why we're adding our flour slurry and why we're uh, roasting this uncovered so that we can get a, a lot of browning to happen to the top of our, of our meat. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and get this back in the oven, 350 degree oven, for about, I'm going to say another 40 minutes or so, till our vegetables and our meat is absolutely tender and delicious. Y'all stay tuned on Season With Love. We're making Sunday pot roast, y'all. Ooh, wee. Guys, check this out. Check it out, check it out, check it out, y'all. Now, y'all didn't want to lay down a little while. <laughs> Almost forgot about the roast, y'all. But that's all right. That's all right. It's delicious. It's tender, juicy. Y'all take a look at that. Y'all like what I'm doing in these videos? Go over there and hit that like button. You know what I mean? Give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe to Season With Love, y'all. Y'all know I'm going to hit y'all with a couple of pics. Y'all stay tuned so y'all can see what I'm going to plate this up with. All right, guys, we're back with our final plating. Y'all, Sunday dinner, pot roast. We accompanied this pot roast with some delicious baked mac and cheese. Y'all comment down below if y'all want my baked mac and cheese recipe. We got some arroz con pollo, Spanish chicken and rice on the side. Comment down below if you want my arroz con dules. I got some greens over here with some pork in there, delicious collard greens. I got some candy yams, y'all. All right. That's a company our delicious, delicious, juicy, tender, moist pot roast, y'all. Y'all check this pot roast out. Y'all, oh my goodness. When I tell y'all that pot roast, oh my goodness. You see, I don't like my pot roast shredded like burrilla meat. I like it butter, tender, soft. But I don't like it shredded up like a shredded mess. When you chewing and it leaves you that chewy little meatball in your mouth that you got to spit out because you can't swallow it. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that stringy meat. Y'all look how tender this pot roast is, y'all. Look, you can eat this with a spoon, y'all. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Delicious. Look at these potatoes. Potatoes just moist and seasoned all the way through. Y'all see that? From the slow roasting process. Mmm. I hope y'all enjoy watching these videos on Season With Love. Y'all continue to take this journey with me. 
If it's your first time in my page, welcome. I hope y'all stay around for some more delicious videos. I'm KC. Good night, y'all. Thank you.